think that's um it's probably very relatable for even people that are not um yeah. com- being competitive or doing bodybuilding yeah. uh, and i guess one of the things i wanted to talk to you about was you know how you your experience as a as a bodybuilder and now a professional bodybuilder yeah. um at some point in time you were just some guy in a gym working out to get in <laughs> shape right yeah and so in terms of what it's taken you to get to where you are now and even what it took you to start in the journey that you got to now um versus you know just being the guy in the gym that wanted to get in shape is how much of what you do now is is necessary for just that that regular person that just wants to be in shape how much of what I do now is necessary for the person that wants to get in shape? From the the level of commitment that you that you give to it, the the sacrifices that you make, um, you know how hard you work at it, and 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 anything else that kind of goes into what makes you the level of of bodybuilder that you are, um, you know, versus just you know Darren or 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 Millie. Um, who works an office job and, and goes to the gym after work and just kind of wants to look good when they're on holiday. Yeah. I mean, the only thing I can say is just hard work. That's it. That's all it is. It's, there's nothing different. I mean, the work of it now compared to back then isn't any different really. Um, the only difference is now, the only difference now is I've got, I have a lot more stake um, then back then, back then I was just a regular guy in the gym, just you know trying to get in shape. Now I'm a professional, which if you're a professional or anything, there's a lot more at stake because now you're building towards a career. You understand? So I don't know if I'm making sense. How many how many times a week would you go to the gym in prep? Uh, in general. Okay, I, in prep I go five days a week. In off season I do four days. Uh, really well. Yeah, I cut it out of the four days again, just to, have, to just to be a little more a bit more available. For my family. That's I started doing that last off season because I this year was the year that things really hit the fan in terms of the issues and how you said bodybuilding affected marriage. The first two years, it was like, mm, but so and so like, well, but finally this year, it really like got really hurt. So. That's amazing. Four to five days of training a week. I think anybody on the outside um, looking at these, you know, uh, out of these world um, physiques that bodybuilding has to to show. And you know, I work as a as, as a personal trainer working with so many people. Yeah. Um, the the most common thing that you hear is, "Oh my God, you must work out all the time." No. And <laughs> You know, seven days a week, twice a day, and all of the like the 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 how the average person imagines a level of commitment, yeah, and, and, time, yeah, right? Yeah. That goes towards this, and to some extent, they're not entirely wrong. But uh, there's obviously a, quite a wide variety yeah. of. Yeah, obviously, it's more intense in contest prep because you do faster cardio. Now, I used to go to the gym to do cardio, but. I was able to get some cash, do a shed, and put a bike in there in the garden. So do my wake up, do my cardio there, um, because I usually I'm usually in contest prep in summertime, so it's still quite warm. Um, so I can do the cardio outside, and then go to the gym in the afternoon or in the evening, and then don't forget the steps as well. Fifteen k steps, maybe twelve k most of the day. So you have to split that across the day. So. Technically, it's seven days a week, and then if you're four weeks, three weeks out, depending on what your coach says, you might have to do cardio seven days a week. But we don't lift weight training seven times a week. No, it's usually four, five times in the um, contest prep and four days. Okay, so just for I suppose just to, to for clarity, the actual the 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 weight lifting um, is four to five days a week, but seven days a week, some some sort of yeah. Exercise is yeah. happening yeah. and th- that goes towards creating that outcome. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. The yeah, I think 
when you're in bodybuilding, uh, you go to bodybuilding gyms, you spend time bodybuilding. Um, it, it is a bit of a bubble from my experience and, and people start to assume, and especially if you go on social media and the way the algorithm works, it's like, it just feeds you more oh. of it. So you imagine yeah. that like everybody out there is part of this world and everybody knows about it, but statistically it's actually a very small, small, small very niche. Small. Um, the, you know, the, you know, even, uh, for your wife, I imagine it was quite an anomaly, like what's suddenly happening in my life now yeah. that you brought this into. Yeah. Like people listening, she came to all, she comes to all my shows. So it's not like people listen to my thing, or your wife's the, she, she preps my meals for me, even in the midst of the argument. <laughs> <laughs> she drives me to my shows. I remember I had a show in Liverpool last 2021. She drove five hours to Liverpool. I was there snoring. She drove there and back. So like I said, she is 100% support. All she wanted was just a little bit more. Little bit, just a little bit more from me. Yeah, so. It's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's incredible that um, we're, we're getting both stories. I think we're getting the story of um, a lot of commitment, a lot of sacrifice, a lot of cost. Um, but we're also getting the story of um, being compromising where it matters, yeah. uh, not overdoing it for the sake of overdoing it and kind of perhaps maybe looking for the smartest way to to get from point A to point B. Um, so I think it, it's definitely important for people that are just, you know, the, looking after their health and fitness yeah. and maybe aren't taking it to the level of bodybuilding. Um, to, they understand that even a bodybuilder is a, a real person with a real yeah. life. And we just look like... Relationships and a job and yeah, kids. Yeah, we will And also has to, like, make considerations for all of that kind mm. of stuff because I've definitely come across all these uh, guys especially who feel like and they're just trying to get like um to look good on the beach in the in a, like they're not even trying to go to that level the of the stage the or and they're like talking like they have to make all these big sacrifices yeah. and xyz and uh, in normal honesty and I, I'm trying not to delve down this route too much because I don't want to be too judgmental but most of the time it's that when they have the opportunity to they just don't work hard enough which is why they end up trying to compensate by being in the gym so much and it's like well if you did go to the gym four times a week and you worked hard enough you would really see your outcome yeah. you actually don't need to be there seven days a week no. um, but when somebody's in the gym, nowadays especially, what do we see? They're on their phone. They're having conversations with other people. Yeah. I don't know about you, but I use my phone for a stopwatch and music. Um, you damn sure can't come and talk to me. Uh, yeah. And I, all I'm thinking about is my next set. Next set yeah. um, and I'm probably, nowadays especially, starting to get my training sessions just under an hour um, because I'm, you know, my, my glycogen levels are dropping and the, the, there's only so much more like effective work that I can actually pull off yeah. um, without starting to like tap out. Yeah. And what I'll see is I'm still in the gym because I'm working there. Uh, three hours later, that same person that was working out at the same time as me is still on the floor, still doing some sort of exercise, yeah. casually just moving from one thing to the next. Yeah. Um, and that's probably where I'm sort of like trying to highlight to individuals. It's not how much time you spend in the gym. It's how hard you work when you're there. Yeah. Um, and you probably don't have to make the same sacrifices a, a top level bodybuilder has to make or whatever you think they have to make is actually top level bodybuilder is sitting right in front of me telling me, <laughs> you know, at most I'll go to the gym five time, five days a week. Yeah. And tell you now, uh, we're going to go on to this in a second. Uh, 9.7 out of 10 people, including myself, don't have Yinka's um, capacity for, for building muscle um, and, and, and doing well in bodybuilding. Yeah. Um, so it's not, 
it's not sometimes it's like you have to really question yourself how much do i need to be trying to be like this guy when actually it's almost like a physical impossibility to be competitive yeah. against these some of these physiques that you see and really just try and be the yeah. best you can be